Today I will be presenting a brief audio report on Aditya Birla fashions. By the end of this audio report, you will get to know five insights which you did not know earlier on this company. Aditya Birla Fashion and Retail Limited, formerly Pantaloons Fashion and Retail Limited, is a fashion and lifestyle company. The company is engaged in providing branded fashion apparels and accessories and the retail sale of clothing, footwear and leather articles in stores. Insight number one, market share. Coming to market share, Aditya Birla Fashion commands 10% market share in retail chain segments. Insight number two, revenue mix. An interesting point to note here is that 65.9% of the sales comes from Madura Fashion and Lifestyle and 34.2% from Pantaloons. Insight number three, location-wide breakup. The company sales is concentrated in the following segments. 97.6% of the sales comes from India and balance 2.4% from the rest of the world. Insight number four, operating profit breakup. The company's breakup of net profit is as follows. 59.4% of the net profit is contributed from Madura Fashion and Lifestyle and balance 40.6% of the net profits is derived from Pantaloons. Insight number five, sales growth and profit growth. The company has had a remarkable sales growth and profit growth in the recent four quarters. Net sales have jumped to rupees 3,075 crores in the September quarter, registering an impressive sales growth of 49.66% year on year. Also, net profits have touched rupees 37.69 crore in the September quarter, registering a remarkable 586.52% growth year on year. Prior to this, the company was making huge losses in the last three years. The company has made losses in the year 2020, 2021 and 2022. So the company has undergone a huge turnaround and is reporting good net profits in the recent four quarters. Also, ROE has been negative in the last three years. However, the company has a positive free cash flow in the last five years and this is a very healthy sign. Pledge and debt. The company has zero pledge. So in a bear market, there will be no panic selling by both FIs and DIs in this stock. The company has a low debt to equity ratio of 0.45 times. This means that the company has enough cash profits to pay off interest to loans from banks and other financial institutions. A very interesting point to note is that the company's brands include world famous brands such as Louis Philip, Van Heusen, Allen Sony and Peter England valuations with a price to sales ratio of 2.5. 59 times and P ratio of 79.01 times, the company is slightly overvalued. Returns The company has generated a positive 5-year return of just 83.31% compared to the Sensex which gave 88.18% during the same period. So if I was a long-term investor, I would definitely consider this stock in my watchlist radar. For getting more such research insights and in-depth stock analysis, please join a Stocks Made Easy group. Thanking you from team testmystock.com.